So how do we solve the equation 5x plus 8 equals 6x plus 3? Well, we ask ourselves the question, on which side of the equal sign has got most x's? You've got 6x's on the right-hand side, you've got 5x's on the left-hand side of the equal sign. 6x is greater than 5x, so we're going to collect the x's on the side with most x's, which is the right-hand side. So quite simply, what we do is the 6x is exactly where we want it to be on the right-hand side. So it doesn't swap sides, it doesn't swap side, it remains the same, 6x. What we now do is we take hold of that 5x and we drag it across to the other side to join the 6x. It swaps sides. If it swaps sides, it swaps signs. Well, to begin with, there is a plus sign in front of that 5x. There isn't a sign that you can see, but that also means it's a plus 5x. Take the plus 5x to the other side, it changes to a minus 5x. So on the right hand side we get a minus 5x appearing, like so. On the left hand side we now gather the number terms. Well we've got the 8 and the 3 which are number terms. It doesn't matter which one we put down first. If you want to deal with the 8 first, this is how you should do it. The plus 8 is already on the left hand side. It doesn't need to swap sides, so it doesn't need to swap sign. So it remains as a plus 8. The plus 8 doesn't need to go directly underneath the 8 in the previous line. I'll put it to one side over here. Because it's the first thing I'm writing down on the left hand side, I can drop the plus. I don't need to put the plus in front of it. When I was in the line above, it was the second term. That was the first term, that was the second term, and I needed to put the plus in front of the 8. The first term here, it doesn't need the plus in front of it, but it is plus 8 nonetheless. Okay, now what I need to do is drag the plus 3 to the other side to join it, and because it swaps sides, it swaps signs. So the plus 3 becomes a negative 3. So we end up with that line, 8 take 3 equals 6x minus 5x. Now we simplify things. On the left hand side, I can gather those two numbers together. 8 take away 3 is 5, and on the right hand side you get 6x's take away 5x's, and that's just 1x, which is just x. And that is the answer to the equation. The solution to this equation is 5 is equal to x. The x is on the right hand side because we collected x's with most x's on the right hand side. And that's the answer to this equation.